Hey, Alina from XM8 Mastery here. And today I would like to talk about the final cleaning line items. So this was released, I believe, in the January or February price list for 2022, where they've updated the wording in the final cleaning. And I'd like to talk about this because it differentiates between what are called supporting events and these specific line items. So let's go take a look at these line items in Xactimate and see if it's something that you should be adding to your estimate. So I've gone ahead and added these to the estimate already, just a dummy estimate that I play around with. And you'll see here that you've got the final cleaning uh, for commercial and for residential. So the CLN final R or final C are going to be your category and selector codes. So if you go into the line item and go to the click for detail, you will see if you read these, these are very important. I advocate that you always read these. If it's a new line item you've never used, you might discover a line item that it goes in tandem with it, that you're leaving off your estimate. Or like for this line item, there's a report that's released that are changes to the price list that I like to look over every month. And uh, this is how you find this kind of detail in the click for detail. So what we're looking for here doesn't exist. I just realized I have an old price list. So that's why it's important to update. Also, if you're doing the repairs in this month or at this time when the cost is incurred or when that repair is complete or the mitigation has been done, that's the price list you want to use because some of this verbiage will be left out. So if I go over to my claim info tab, you can see I have a September 21st price list. We need to go ahead and get this updated to it. February, let's say March, just so we have the newest best uh, for this month and you may be watching this in the future, doesn't matter. Hopefully this verbiage will carry forward and we'll go ahead and use the correct price list with the updated verbiage. So now if I go to the click for detail, you'll see they've added quite a bit, which is really interesting. So what we're looking for here is where it says, this item is intended to cover a final cleanup in the affected areas for the after all trades have completed their work. The labor that is located in the supporting events with each line item is intended to be inclusive of a general cleanup that is for that particular activity and is not representative of the final cleaning at the end of the job that include things like dusting, vacuuming, sweeping, wiping down of surfaces impacted by various construction activities. So stick with me. I know that was a lot of jargon there. Basically what they're saying is if you go over to supporting events, and let's say we add a drywall line item here just for fun and all inclusive. It's out of five eighths. And let's say we had 150 square feet of that. Whenever you go to the supporting events, by adding that drywall, it's adding this in the background. The price list doesn't just give you line items, everyone. It also does a lot in components and supporting events that's adding in the back end that you may not know about. So what would happen is if I would have in the past added this final cleaning, let's say for residential in here um, after the drywall was done, there is a lot of work to be done when, after the drywall is completed to wipe down surfaces, make sure there's no exposure of any of the dust particles. Maybe there's someone in the home who has, you know, any kind of respiratory issues. You don't even want to go there. We're going to do a final cleaning of that area. And so what would happen in the past is the adjuster would say, well, actually that's not warranted because it's in the labor assumption in your supporting events. See, it says debris removal, floor sweeping, or vacuuming in immediate workspace. But what exact was done is drawn a line in the sand for us saying, no, Actually, it's not the case that the supporting events, the labor supporting events are intended to be inclusive of general cleanup as you go along, but this final cleanup is still to be used to be after all trades have completed their work. Now, would it be fair that I add this for a painter and then a separate final cleaning for the drywall and then a separate final cleaning for you know another trade that was going on? No, they're saying this is the final cleaning, right? So we don't wanna abuse this in any way, but it is nice that they drew a clear line in the sand that the supporting events are, is for the cleaning that goes along as the job takes place and that the final cleaning line item is for that last final cleanup. And it's really cool. I think that Xactor has put that in the click for detail for both the residential and the, the commercial cleaning, the final clean line item for us. So we could show the adjuster, look, we're playing by the rules. We're doing exactly what Xactor says to do or Varus, whatever they're calling themselves today, says to do in their line item.
So hopefully that was something that you can take a look at and add to your estimate. Again, it goes per room or per area. Usually uh, it is a by square footage line item. They usually use the F for floor variable for the final clean line item. So just pay attention to those details, but it is something that should be added to the estimate as a final clean for the job as a whole. And super exciting that exact word has that verbiage in there now so we can differentiate it from a supporting event, which it is not. Hope that was helpful for you. If you found this information useful, please comment below and let me know if you have any other line items that you've seen lately that are working for you there out in the field. I'd also ask that you like or subscribe to this channel. It's like gold for me. So if you're enjoying the content I put out there, I would ask that you might give a like or subscribe my way as YouTube really rewards us when we have those likes and subscribes. Anyhow, my name is Helena Wilson with Excavate Mastery and I train contractors how to use Xactimate. Go ahead and go over to our website at excavatemastery.com. There on our homepage, we always have something that we're giving away for you and uh, you want to take a look at for more information. Excavatemastery.com is the place to be. Hope you have a great week in your business and I will see you next week.